welcome to another great session for the New York market. Um, just trying to uh, get some things rolling over here. Just can't seem to figure out a few things here now. One moment here to this. Um, all right. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get some backgrounds over here. Oh, we also got uh, the Gulag here coming on too. Awesome. We're going to open up Photoshop. Going to do some artwork here now. Um, let's see. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do some artwork here now. Let's see this. So what I want to do is I want to bring this on. One moment. All right, there we go. Oh, um, let's try this one. Because unknown villain, what does that mean? What does that mean? That is strange. All right, let's try this one. Nope. Um, let's see. This one? Ah, perfect. All right, here we go. So <clears throat> today, this session is going to be about, we're going to teach you how to create a um, PNG file, right? So this is how you do it. You select right here, and then you hold the shift down, select this, like this, 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 and then slowly select everything. So we're going to teach you how to create <laughs> how to create a PNG file over here. Um, let's select everything, and then we select this right here. Oh. Select the whole thing. R T R O R A. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a background here for the stream. I didn't have enough time today. So I guess this was the perfect time to do it. Um, half an hour before pre-New York. So you slowly select everything. Once you've selected everything. Okay, there we go. Select. Awesome. You selected it, you hit control copy, then control N, open up a, a new window and then control V, uh, there we go. You uh, do this, you remove the background and then you go to file, you go to save as, and then, ah, it's Dubai Bootcamp. And then you save it as a PNG file, all right. Dominion markets. This is where I save all my trades and do analysis and stuff like that. So desktop, Dominion markets, you hit save, hit OK. And then uh, that's it. That's done. And now this will show up on. This is going to show up on YouTube. Haha, ha, there we go. There we have it on YouTube. Perfect. Awesome. Um, okay, so let's get the chat over here. All right, let's do some uh, fresh analysis here now. Let's get to yahoo.com. I know we have unemployment claims coming up for USD. Let's bring up gold. 
I hope that was educational, <laughs> teaching you some uh, <laughs> Photoshop stuff. You can simply use a mask. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, all right. Um, so from Monday, <clears throat> so from Monday, there's going to be a new thing happening here for everybody. Um, we got a um, we got a notice from YouTube that every um, viewer should be fully vaccinated. So we're going to be collecting your vaccination status. So you'll have to email them in. If you're fully vaccinated, you'll be allowed to sit in the YouTube stream. If not, then you shit out of luck. You'll have to trade on your own alone. So that's what's going on here now. Okay, awesome. Um, use your title. Your title says part two. Oh, that's fine. All right, so let's um, do some full analysis on gold. Let's remove my life in Melbourne. <laughs> yeah, Melbourne is pretty stingy on that. Are you serious? Yes, I'm very, very serious. I'm very serious. Because in Canada, if you study online from home and you're not vaccinated, even though you're studying from home, you can't attend classes. Same thing goes over here, right? I'm from Canada. I got a Canadian passport. So the same laws apply wherever I go, right? So get with the fucking program. Okay, so daily is just consolidating at this point. We kind of like wicked up, wicked down. Looking on the four-hour time frame, four-hour is a mess we have a full-blown rejection at 1763. We tried moving up to 1768, but we rejected that for our candle close back below. Looking at the one-hour time frame, um, it's kind of like seems like it did some sort of a fake out, right? Because we broke above this resistance, 1764.50, and then we came back in the range, and now we're basically creating a support right here, right? So if we see this is resistance here now, most recent resistance. Let's take a look on the 30 minute time frame. 30 minute is right down here. Yes, I kind of, all right, let's measure this range here now. This is a um, 40, 42 pip range. Even if price goes up, you know, it's a 42 pip range. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to take a buy here because, you know, there's a, there's a rejection area right at 1762, 63. Right here, we had some issues. Price retraced here a little bit too, so. Probably going to wait for some better price action. I'm probably just going to wait for um, the unemployment claims like yesterday. Yesterday waited a whole while to get a trade. I actually waited two hours yesterday to take a trade. So, yeah, just going to wait over here. Let's take a look at um, pound yen here now. Um, the sad part is some of the gulag will believe that you know they will. Awesome. Um, less pure bloods. <laughs> All right. Um, Look, resistance at 1761, 1761, yes, this one here too. It's not formed, it's not formed yet, it's, it's not formed yet, you know, we need the candle to close to form a resistance here. So, looking at uh, pound yen, I was expecting it to continue down since previous candle was bearish, but, you know, whatever, let's take a look on the 4-hour time frame, 4 hours is just consolidating, you can see all these wicks over here. Um, major rejection to the top side major some sort of rejection to a downside here as well looking at the one hour time frame we are creating a resistance 151 500 um we talked about when we sent the analysis this morning we talked about pound yen breaking above 151 500 and moving on towards 151 800 but that's that didn't happen at this point right looking at the 30 minute time frame nothing really happened here there's no buys on a 30 minute time frame here either. Unless we can break and close above 151, let's say uh, 550, right? So let's put this right here. Potential buys above 151, 550. Yeah, let's do this. Potential buys above 151, 550. This is what I'm going to be waiting for here today. Um, if you're creating a support at this point, 30 minute time frame right here if you're creating a support and if you break this support next support is like what 22 25 pips away so that could also be a potential target here for price to move down so um if price goes beyond these two yellow lines or these visual lines that's where i'm looking to anticipate a trade at that point uh, let's take a look at this chart over here someone sent this is Oh, page is not available. Damn, Daniel. All right, let's take a look at this chart. This is a buy stop at London Open. Clean traffic. 
Christ came back now. Fake out, stop. <laughs> Fake out, stop out. Yeah, it happens, you know. I hope you manage risk at that point. Let's take a look at this chart by Ryan. Um, oh, it looks like it was the same idea over here. Impulse buy when four hour candle is broken. Entry candle right here. Oh, price came down. Stop loss three pips below previous candle support. Okay. So you managed the risk at that point. Very well done. As long as you're managing risk while you're taking trades, I think it should be okay. You know, as long as you're managing risk. Hi, Raquel. Was Ted on your stream yesterday? Yes. Um, sometime, some, something I've always wondered about traders who make a lot of trading is does the broker basically force you to advertise for them or partner with them? Um, no, sometimes what the brokers do is that they offer CPAs, right? CPAs like they'll give you, it's like a cost per acquisition. If you bring in a client and the client deposits, let's say $500, $600, they'll give you like 400 bucks to, for bringing in the client in the hopes that the client is going to lose money. That's something we don't do it because it, it's, it's betting a lot of money on people, you know, and that's not the right way to do a profitable business. Okay. James sent a chart right from the charts. James, when you send a chart, you can't just copy this link and send it. You have to hit this camera button and then um, copy link to the chart image. What causes the huge upper wick in one minute on GJ? Um, I think you need to send a chart so we can take a look at that. One minute. Right here. Volatility, volume. It is what it is, you know. We just didn't stay up. We just came all the way back down. Um, how do you actually know when volume is coming in? We look at the time. We anticipate volume. We don't really know when the volume is going to come in. There's no time to look for that, but we can anticipate based on uh, the time that we're looking at, right? We can anticipate. Um, just like on, uh, like at pre-New York, we can anticipate volume to come in. At NY Open, we can anticipate volume to come in. You know, so those are times we can kind of like anticipate certain volume. It's like surge of volume to come in. Um, let's take a look here. Farhan, I tried opening your chart, but it said that the link is not valid. All candles failed to break 151.500. Entered right here. Close full candle. Oh, nice. Secured partial at 25 pips. Beautifully done. Um, <clears throat> first target buys above 1766. Looks good. This is something that I've been, um, I was waiting for as well, above 1766. Right. Actually, I was looking at above 1764, but we came back down and then we came back up, broke above this area, came back down. So that's basically above this area would make sense. But if, if, okay, so we've created a resistance now in the 15 minute time frame. Right. If we can break above 1762, could be a possibility for price to continue bullish till 1764. But since this is a 15 minute time frame, which is a weak confirmation time frame, would really want to see how the 30 minute candle is going to close and that's also going to be a close of the one hour candle here as well you know also this is a sort of like a rejection area here before um from 6th october from yesterday so this is a very very crucial area so that's why we want to wait for these candles to close um, let's take a look at this chart Executed buy when candle broke previous, close 50%. Very nice. Very nicely done. Which email are we sending our COVID certificate to? Um, you can send it to raja at youtube.com and it's going to come right to me. And then we can just do like a check mark and send your name, fully vaccinated, vaxxed and relaxed. That's what we can say. Vaccine. Yesterday you say you've been using creatine. Is it worth it? Try it. If you like it, it's worth it. If you don't like it, it's not worth it. You know, for me, creatine, creatine, basically what it does is it, it gives you, it stores, what's the best way to say it? It's basically water retention in the muscle. You know, it gives you a more fuller look, but you have to work out. You know, you, you have to work out. That's the thing. It, it, it basically stores water in the muscle. That's something. Yeah. It also gives you more power too. You know, so I, I lift really heavy, really heavy in the gym now, and um, it's it's working. Um, please, everyone in the Zoom must be wearing a mask to turn on the camera. That's correct. That's correct. You have to wear a mask to turn on the camera. 
that goes for you kennedy didn't josh is not here biza zender get your masks on yeah perfect perfect man's on his way to get a mask i don't have a mask so i'm going to use the makeshift mask over here the closest thing i can find is uh 100 rupees so i'm going to use this as a mask <laughs> Alright, also speeds up the healing rate. Um, the only thing that speeds up your healing when it comes towards muscle is testosterone. That's it. All these things about these take these organic pills and this is going to heal your muscle. That's all bullshit, man. I did legs three days ago. My legs are still hurting. They haven't healed yet. If I was on testosterone, there would be, there'd be no problem healing. Healing happens overnight. Alright, perfect. We got master by Xander. Awesome. Perfect. Yes. Keep 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 people safe. Um, will you enter gold at the break of the 15 minute? No, I would not. Because we had a one hour rejection here yesterday after London close and close to Asian session. So may want to wait for price to kind of like, you know, break above this area. 1761, 1762. Break and close above, right? Ideally, would want to see... Um, gold 30 minute candle to close light uh, small bearish candle and then the next one to break above the high to continue up ideally that's what i want you know so i'm just gonna wait here to see how that plays out do you live in india full time now man i don't live in india um any news affecting us 30 today yes go to forex factory and like guys come on why why can't we all just check out news like every time you open up the charts you have to look at news it's very simple you know just just give a nice rub on your head get air flowing through that brain so that it starts functioning properly and then you're more used to looking at news look at news right look at this news we have challenge i don't know what that is unemployment claims we have unemployment claims at 8 30 it's going to affect us 30 us dollar gold then we have fmc at 840 you know, so just start looking at these things. All right, there we go. We got nine minutes left here. 15 minutes is breaking the high. I'm not taking a trade at this point because I want to see how the 30 minute candle is going to close. That's it. Even if I miss it at this point, I'm okay with that. You know, I'm just going to wait. First, I'm seeing you live in Pakistan. I missed the neon sign. Oh. What's happening? Yeah. What? Um, Balloons? Yeah. Yeah. Small? Like this? Four. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got the, did the son speak English? Yeah, he... Uh, unfortunately, he spent his uh, first two, three years in Canada, so he speaks English, but he understands both languages. Um... Good morning. Need some advice. I grew a three hundred fifty-nine dollar account to two thousand. How should I go about withdrawing? I'm scared to withdraw too much and be left with too little. Should I not withdraw? Um, I think if you grew your account to two thousand from three hundred fifty-nine, just take out three hundred fifty-nine dollars. You know, take out three hundred fifty-nine dollars, and because that way you're taking out your uh, principal, like your um, initial investment. So take that out. Have fun with that. Have some dinner, do something, and then, you know, trade with the rest. And don't worry about having less to trade because you grew your account from 359 to 200 to, to 2000 You know, that's a lot. Um, main course, Karna Chata. Hello, Raja. Main course, Karna Chata. Okay, perfect. Let's get it. Are you married? No, there was someone else's kid. There was a neighbor's kid running in my house. I'm not married. Um... 
All right. Got to work on your balloon work. Yes. <laughs> we all have issues going with our trading plan. Emotions get to us. Well, you got to you got to make sure things are well, you know. Um you got to figure out when you're having emotions get to you, what's something What? What the hell is this? Where did the 7 come from? Yeah, magic keys. So you got to make sure whenever you're having emotions get to you, like why, why is it happening? You know, is it after you're taking a loss? Is it after you're missing on a trade? Is it after when a trade goes your way and you're not in that position or after winning a trade? Like what's, what's really happening at that point? That's something you got to identify there. So again, like, you know, pound yen is just consolidating over here. So this is going to be a no trade range, no trade range right here. Some things never change. These questions are so wild. Absolutely, man. These questions just are wild. Um, when you traded based only on the four hour, how did you manage with stop loss? Was it probably huge, right? Yes. The, the stops on the four hours are huge because the profit targets on the four hour are also huge. Um, like, you know, they're also huge at that time. Um, so basically have stops below the four hour candles you know and if if i can help it keep it below the one hour candles too i almost lost two thousand dollars over a year is because of not setting a proper stop loss and also sometimes not booking profit how do i set proper stop um setting proper stops what do you mean are your stops too big look at that and ask yourself how could you have had a smaller stop that's it how could you have had a small stop like if you're taking a buy let's say for example uh, let's say, for example, you're taking a buy at this point and you're having a stop right over here and you get stopped out. You need to and you get stopped out. Now you got now you lost a lot of money. Right. But if you can say that, OK, instead of having a stop down over here, what if I had a stop below this 30 minute candle, then I would have lost less money right and then your take profit would have been much better your risk reward would have been much better so that's what you got to do you got to look back at your losses and ask yourself how could you have had a smaller stop these last past months i'm working on the emotions i always ask myself why and it works very well keep my emotions in check and my trading improved awesome yusuf that's amazing uh let's see all right i'll be right back Test, test. All right, perfect. So yeah, we got two minutes left over here for the candle to close. Um, pound yen is also consolidating here now. So yeah, let's take a look at this chart here. GA. GA, wait for break below or enter short down to 19 pip range. Yeah, I guess I guess you can wait for a candle to break and close below this area and then let the next candle move continue down. It's pretty good. 19 pip range over there. With volume, we can potentially continue bearish more. Um, what lot size do you recommend for $20,000 account? Um, I'd say like two lots, one lots. When do you recommend getting on the charts and marking up zones for trading, especially if we are trading off of price action? You need to make a trading plan first. <clears throat> you make a trading plan and then it's, oh wow, we broke up over here. 15 minute candle. How much was this? Ah, four pips. Nothing, 
nothing major here. All right, let's take a look at this chart by Game On. Game On, EA Sports. Entry on this candle, um, next candle push up, closed below support, felt kind of big stop loss for me, price went up, had a huge liquidity grab here. Yeah, this was tough. This was very tough. Could I have taken entry here since this candle, it closed above support, lower support, and I was feeling prices and momentum. Yeah, you could have. I think you could have taken it as this candle started breaking the highs right here to the left hand side. That's where you that's where I would have given my trade a second chance. You know, um, I wouldn't have entered I don't know where you entered. Oh entry this candle. Oh entry this candle. I don't know why you entered over here. You needed this candle to break the high at this point to continue bullish. So yeah let's see here. Candles about to close. Uh, 30 minute candles also closing above this area. 15 minute candles also closing above. Do I really want to take a trade, keeping like a 10 pip stop, anticipating price to move up? Um, four hour candle looks good. One hour candle looks good above that area. Yeah, I guess. I guess. GG is just dog shit right now, consolidating. Let's take a look on the four hour here. Four hour, um, fifteen minute stops are going to be right. Ten, eleven pips over here. I'll wait. I'll wait for it to wick down. Yeah, I'll wait for it to wick down here first. range zone yeah I see that range zone right there I see that range zone um, I'm trying to catch this move up till 1763 that's what I'm trying to do catch it till 1763 so uh, wick down first because we've closed above this area here which means prices price broke above 1761 which was the rejection area also in the one hour time frame. Yeah, also on the one hour time frame here as well. We closed above that area. We could possibly, possibly, possibly what can happen is we can consolidate right here before the unemployment claim and then move up. Or if we can break below 1761, then we can potentially continue down to retest the lows at 1758, right? That can also happen. So at this point, I guess I'm just waiting for this 15 minute candle to close. And then possibly waiting for the 30 minute candle to close here as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. I need to make pips for some weed. What you got for me? Nothing. I mean, uh, what is analysis about UJ? My trade is stuck. I think you need to send your chart and then we can take a look at that. Um, sell here when price enter rejection. Very nice. <clears throat> close position when candle close with no wick. Well done. Perfect. All right. Pound is making its move. We're trying to make its move now. Above 151,550 would be a perfect, perfect scenario to continue bullish. Yeah, that'd be perfect. 550, 560, 14, 13 pips to fill the wick and then continue on 151,800. Um, entered a buy on gold around 1761. I'll show my position right here. Small position here. Um, small position here. Gonna add positions as we start breaking above 1762. This is like a dynamic risk total. I want to use 40 lots. So I'm just trying to do it like with 10 once and gonna add 
the rest 10 later on as we start breaking above 1762. So we'll see. Possibly continuation till um, 1763, ah, 1718 pips over here. Let's see. Let's see how well this how well this plays out. It's going to be around eighteen hundred dollars. So, yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> Man, my throat is going bad here today. What's going on? Um, it's kind of concerning that eleven people just come in here and dislike the video. That's fine. Uh, boss, you cut the answer to my question. When do you recommend getting on the charts and marking up zones? Um, depends on, I cut the question because go through my, um, let me see here if I have something here on YouTube. There's a lot of, uh, educational content I have here on YouTube. You got to first understand what time do you have available to trade? That's the first thing. And then you got to understand that, okay, during that time, what sessions can you possibly trade, right? So we're going to go down over here. Oh, what's this? Torre. <laughs> Torre. All right, let's go all the way down over here. All right, this is the first one you need to go through. How to read market structure. 120, oh, 125,000 views. Damn, Daniel. And then this is one right here, Forex entries. Wick fills right here. You got to go through that. Um, I used to do these dumb trading recaps, man seems so dumb all right let's go down see all this content one year ago we were streaming for a long time over here <clears throat> oh wow two years okay here we go this is one right here the signs you need to take a look at this one here the signs go through this one Uh, people come in looking for Raja. Tell them you must trade this hour. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this chart over here. Yeah, we did look at this chart, Elisa. It was a very, very good trade. Price came down. Your close was very nice. Excellent. Gold is gold is moving nicely over here. Up about eight, eight pips at this point. Nine pips at this point. Should have gone with my full risk over here, but whatever. Um, yeah, I think we can still get towards uh, 1763. We'll see. Um, Roger doesn't have to know, have to this, you know, the less you can do. That. Okay. One thing about gold is that it respects setup, support, resistance. So I'm really confident gold will go up. Yes, I believe so as well. Um, could you give me an opinion on this losing trade I had? Um, I think you should take a look at that losing trade yourself. And then try to justify why it was a losing trade. What could you have done differently? You know, um, I think that's going to help you much more. Four hour wick fill. Yeah, possibly. That's the whole idea till 1766. Right? So, I mean, I think I think it was pretty good. I mean, you should continue to. Oh, 1763 has reached right there. Up about $1,000. Full $1,000. $1,080. Should I just secure it and call it a day right here? $1,080? Yeah, for sure. Full $1,010 today. That's that's not even a lot of percentage. I mean, if we calculate the percentage, look at this. That's $1,080 divided by $750,000. That's like what? 0.1%. Nothing. Oh, wow. Damn. This is still moving over here. Crazy. So it looks like the analysis was pretty good here. The analysis was pretty good on gold for price to kind of like, you know, um, break and close, break and close above that area we talked about. Um, if you look at right here, yeah. Break and close above, you know, 1761. Next candle wick down to continue on. Worked perfectly. You know, if it comes up to 1763, 73. Amazing. How much profit you make monthly in percentage? I have $50,000 and I grow it around 4 to 10% a month. Very nice. That's awesome. 50000 That's beautiful. All right. Here's another chart. 
Um, I don't know if Elisa is having problems with the screen or, or, or the eyes or what the hell's going on, but some of the senses aren't working at that point. You know, I mean, sent the chart three times, showed the chart three times, talked about it three times, and three times I said it, it's good. Good analysis. So I don't know what's going on. Where should we send you the vaccine certificate? Um, send it in the link tomorrow in the stream, and then we'll give you free signals for NFP. <laughs> Do you also trade indices like NASDAQ? No, I don't. No indices. Um, still practicing my demo account. Last week I had an $1,100 USD and went back down to 400 due to revenge trading. I've learned a lot from that. Awesome. Awesome. Um, it, it's... It's one thing that you've learned something from a loss, and if you repeat that loss, you've made that loss a habit. You know? All right, there we go. Here's another chart over here. Okay, this is candle close above resistance. Makes sense. Makes sense. One hour time frame. Impulse entry as candle high got broken, and then candle came down. Why stop loss hit? Can you tell me? Um, stop loss hit because I guess price wanted to go down. That's the only thing I can say at this point, you know? Candle close where this isn't the only thing you could have done at this point is to manage risk. That's it. Um, there's no why stop loss hit. Um, the main thing is how did you manage risk? You know, did you lose less than you what you anticipated to lose? Oh, damn. Yeah, gold was some amazing analysis over here. Continue on till 1763. Guys, who else is doing this like Raja? And even if what the great opportunities have come, like the stream, show appreciation. Oh, nice. Um, do you think gold will come back down to 1762 to go up? Um, y you know, if it does, then I'm going to re-enter. If it does come down to 1762, I think that's going to be a time to re-enter and then continue moving bullish. So we'll see. I think if it does come down, that's going to be like a re-entry for the unemployment claims. Oh, wow, this is not a bad investment at all. Look at this one right here. Almost seems like it's computer generated. Yeah, it definitely is computer generated. Yeah, it's computer generated. Looking at properties in Dubai here now. Pretty nice prices here too. Look at this, two bedroom, 1100 square foot. Not bad, almost like a million dirhams. Not bad, furnish it nice, looks nice. How much is it? AED to USD. AED to USD, so 950. Oh, not bad, $260,000. That's pretty nice, not bad at all. What's my budget here? My budget is around uh, $440,000. 1.6 million, okay. Eh. Uh, I could see a Miami trader selling a course from that apartment. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I think I'm going to be the first one. <laughs> yeah, you can ha get a villa for a villa for 1.6 million. Yeah, we'll see. Um, it's probably going to be an investment property. Okay. Oh, wow. We did tap into 176370 coming up to fill this wick over here. Beautiful. Should have, uh, should have, uh, should have let that whole thing run. This would have been a, how much this would have been? This would have been 108, uh, almost like 180 pip win, $1,800. You know, not bad, not bad. If you do reject this and come down, I think that's going to be a re-entry for um, unemployment claims for price to continue back up. <clears throat> GJ needs to close above 151, 550. The only problem with GJ is um, this whole area right here, this is like a rejection area right here, even up over here, you know, because look at all these candles. All these candles, the only thing they have in common is it couldn't close above, couldn't close above, couldn't close above, couldn't close above, right? So we need at least one candle to kind of like close like this so then we can anticipate the next candle to continue bullish that's what we need right we need a candle to close above that area 
Otherwise, nothing's happening at that point. All right, we're pushing up to 1764 here in gold now. Yeah, this was an amazing analysis. Oh, wow. What a nice move on gold. 1764 has been tapped. Whoever is having buys running at this point in gold, put your stops at break even if you want to secure it and, man, let them run. This was amazing here. Very nice. Wabba weeva. Um, why do charts make so much more sense when you explain them? I don't know. I just look at them in a very simple perspective. Um, are you gambling? No. Secure 50 pips in gold. Oh, nice. Securing 15. Beautiful. GJ is breaking out as well. Yeah, it needs to break and close. The 15-minute candle is about to close. So, yeah. I'd rather want the 30-minute... I don't know. Just, let's just wait for this 15-minute candle to close. Oh, wow. It's actually pushing really strongly at this point. What advice would you give to someone who takes profit too early and wins small? I think I think there's a confidence issue at that point, right? Um, if you're if you're if price goes in your favor and you're closing early, close majority of the position and let a small portion run. And slowly you can build up confidence to let the entire position run. Okay, the 15 minute candle has closed with no wick on the top this candle is retracing if we break the high at 151 600 that's an opportunity for price to now continue pushing further till i would say 151 800 yeah 151 800 we can get there now you know if this candle closed with no wick this candle can break the high we can continue pushing bullish What's the difference? What's the analysis on your GPY? I think you need to send a chart. Send a chart and we're going to look at it. has already done whoever's thinking about entering gold at this point this is this is going to be uh chasing a trade right if you're thinking thinking about entering gold at this point it's going to be like chasing a trade the entry was right down over here when we were talking about it um pound yen we need to break above 151 600 all right Right, your mentor on YouTube is holding buys on gold since yesterday. Oh, amazing. Beautiful. Let's see where his balance is now today. Uh, let's take a look here. Oh, damn. He's up $13 since yesterday. His balance was 1644 yesterday. It's at 1652 today. He has some good knowledge to yani depend karta hai patterns ke upar ke wo pattern jo hai wo aapko kis tarah wo aapko yani wo bana hua hai to uske yeah. hisab se phir trend line lagni hai apni marzi se just minute trend line mein hum nahi kar sakte aur na ye karni bhi chahiye yeah you can't just make trend lines on your own it's not you shouldn't do that <laughs> how many times a year does that pattern happen na i say i say Three, four times a month, I would say. Oh yeah, it looks like gold is going to tap into 1766 over here. Read from left to right. All right. Um, gold win, enter at the break of the high. Very nice, enter at the same time. Um, uh, Re-entered my 40%, same entry as yours. Close 40%. 15-minute kind of close bearish. 
close first position my 40 percent still running oh beautiful man amazing amazing can i get another magic keys using commissions if i lose my usb dongle no you can get a new usb dongle but you can't get a new magic keys um email um <clears throat> Email magic keys and they're probably gonna ship you ship ship that out to you. Another USB dongle. What's your culture basically in Pakistan? Um, uh, I love my culture, man. It's amazing. See, the problem with buying gold over here is that the probability of gold retracing now since it broke out of the zone becomes higher. You know, probability of it moving up becomes lower. That's the whole problem. Not entering GJ trade over here, no. Pakistan seems beautiful. We want vlogs. Uh, yeah, we'll try to get some vlogs. Why are these apartments so cheap? 1800 square foot wow oh it's way too far away from the city that's why al jadaf al jadaf this is in al jadaf al jadaf let's see how far this is <clears throat> gonna do some extracurricular activities here now where's all oh it's right oh damn this is far away um let's see if I'm to buy mall that is oh it's not that far away it's 12 minute 12 minute car ride yeah, these aren't bad at all. You get a 1,300 square foot apartment. Interesting. I'm off to work. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Have a great day. Um, how much for 1,300 square foot? This is like around like two, two, 200, 250,000, something like that. 250,000 US dollars. Pretty good, pretty good vacation, vacation area. Um, all right, let's take a look at this chart over here. This is um, gold still running full position. Oh, nice, beautiful, coming up all the way up over here. Well done. If it comes up to 1766, we're going to blow some horns here for you. Um, why are these apartments so cheap? Proceeds to show the apartment price, which is my entire life earnings LMO. <laughs> They're cheap considered to Mississauga, man. This is like 1,300 square foot, two bedrooms, 280,000, right? Look at this. Um, so what's this, 9, 930? Yeah, 250,000. Um, Mississauga <laughs> apart, Mississauga condos. Yeah, we got condos over there, condos for sale, right? So that was 1,300 square foot, right? And then once we come over here, Mississauga, you can take a look at this. Look at this bullshit right here. <laughs> these are these are condos, <laughs> condo units. This is five hundred twenty-four thousand dollars. You know that's not even that big. This is like six hundred fifty square foot, half of there. You know, just garbage. And 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 look what you get. You get this view. You get a bedroom. Your 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 bathroom. Washing machine, pool is community pool. They didn't even bother showing the living room because it's probably so shit. It's and it's just so disastrous. All right, good thing, good thing I didn't enter on pound yen. Was waiting for the break above here. It didn't happen, so no trade. Wally Bob is a real mentor. No, he's not. It's a big joke. Uh, that was a joke when I said that. All right, uh, clean candles to the left-hand side, clean candles here. This is pound yen, King Luchi. Um, entered on the stop loss at break even. Clean buys above here, it's 10 pips stop loss, full TP. He entered on the break of the low. There was no entry. There was no entry here on pound yen. 
You know, we were waiting for the candle to close. Candle closed with no wick on the top. Uh, just got stopped on opportunity. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I was just waiting for price to kind of close and see what happens. Do you have an idea what you can buy with that money in Cape Town? I think a lot. Did you rent your house in Canada? Yes, it's rented out now to some people. Please start a Raja Tours bus in Pakistan. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start to do that. Raja Tours. Let's see how many of you pe people from the Gulag can come down over there. Um, if GJ closes as it is right now, but above 150, 150, where can we make your stop loss below? Um, if I'm going to look for a buy on pound yen, I would want a 30 minute candle to close above 150, 150. See this 30 minute candle? It rejected that entire area. This is why it's important to wait for a higher time frame candle to close above an area. You know, a higher time frame candle. 15 minute candle was a lower time frame, but we needed to break above this high. We didn't do that, so there was no trade. So we would, would want to wait for that to close above. I forgot to mention that 1300 square foot for 270K is considered expensive in some sense, especially that houses in Ajman. Oh, wow. Really? Time for some bargain then. Um, pound yen 30 minute yeah we need price to break above that area I'm also looking at uh, sales below here as well you know for price to go down it's like a 20 pip range 25 pip range so yeah let's see here only had one trade which was on uh, gold that's about it Uh, my main doubt is if it closes above 151,500, the stop loss below 30 minute candle would be around 20 pips. Yeah, so we have to wait for it to close. We have to wait for it to close and then we have to decide what's going to happen. You're creating a scenario which hasn't even happened yet. You know, you're stressing about a stop loss which hasn't even happened yet, you know. So don't stress about it. Wait till the candle closes. You know, there's no stress. So you should have no doubts, you know, have the doubt when that situation arises. That situation hasn't even arisen yet, you know, so you just got to wait. Um, yeah, nothing's happening at this. Oh, gold is turning around now. Sometimes. Trade like so-called Miami goats, no stop loss. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we just gotta wait over here. Probably we're gonna get some volume by unemployment claims. We shall see. Let's see. Um, please look at my chart. If you send it, we look at it. How far do you look back when you mark support resistance? Just the recent, recent areas, you know, I mean, um, if you're looking at buys, I'm looking at area right here, 1766, basically.
let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like we're about to close in about a minute. Let's see how we close here. What are the advantages of Dominion Markets? Um, the biggest advantage that I can think of is you basically trade the same way as you would trade um, in any brokerage, but you can use commissions to get into market fluidity. You can get you can use commissions to get magic keys. So that's the one advantage Dominion Markets has over all other brokers. I was at the Forex Expo. There were a lot of brokers there, and every broker had the same uh, the same speech. We have the best commissions. We have the best spreads. We have best liquidity. Every broker was an award-winning broker, but there was nothing that set them apart. There was absolutely nothing that set them apart. Some had copy trading, which is now very normal now, but there was nothing that set them apart. You know, so if there was a broker like Dominion Markets there, said that hey, we have everything that everyone else has, but this is why we are different. You can use commissions and you can put them towards education. You can put them towards magic keys and help yourself in trading. Other than that, all brokers were just the same. And then there was uh, there was a stall of uh, MetaTrader 5 there too. MetaTrader 5 basically said, oh yeah, all these brokers, they have our platform. We're just here because yeah, they have our platform. <laughs> like, oh nice, cool. We have your platform too. Uh, plus, we get easy withdrawals even in India. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, would love the runner keep going. Have to go to work at 8. Enter. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice, John. Beautiful. Would have loved to have the runner still going, but you basically decided to take everything off the table. All right, let's take a look at this. So, yeah, same thing. Break above. Uh, all right, let's do this right here. Break above 151, uh, 600. Yeah, it would make sense. Yeah, break above 151, 600 would make sense. If you're in the US, can you use Dominion Markets? Yes, you can. Uh, choose crypto from the country list and you can continue as normal. If now, if the 30 minute breaks the high, would you manage risk if it retraces after an entry? What pair are you talking about? Gold, GJ, GJ. If the 30 minute breaks the high, that means the 15 minute should break the high, then the stop loss should be below the 15 minute candle. Yeah. So then basically you would want the 15 minute to continue pushing bullish. Raja, you are on mute. No, your speakers are on mute. There's 100% chance your speakers are on mute. <laughs> but if it retraces and goes down with pull position and drawdown, is there a way you can manage risk? Um, yeah, it's up to you how you want to manage risk, right? If you get stopped out because the stop loss right here, you get stopped out, you know? Or if you want to manage risk basically on a five minute time frame, or like, you know, if it breaks above the high, it's basically what you're expecting price to do. If you're expecting it to break the high and continue up, Awesome, you know, but if it doesn't continue up and goes back and draw down, then it's up to you whether you want to close 50%, you want to close 25%, you want to close 75%, what do you want to do at that point, you know? Um, so that's something you have to plan ahead of time. You know, what are you expecting price to do? And if price doesn't do that, how are you going to manage your risk at that point? Um, why the stop loss will be on a 15 minute time frame? Because... It's the same thing I said twice because, man, are you guys from the Gulag or what? What's going on? You're expecting price to move once it breaks the high. That's why it's below the 15 minute. Um, I think I think you also need to go through the database there too to answer that question. We've explained it, why stops are going to be below the 15 minute and not the 30 minute time frame. You know. Um, what did you... What you did when you left your job and blew up your trading account for the first time, how did you manage after that? Um, I just understood that I blew that account because I was over trading. I said, you have to come to grips with what you did. You know, the bad things you did, the, the, the uh, negative things you did. Um, so that's something you have to come to grips with, you know. And um, 
whenever you're trying to take a trade, you have to plan that trade. Ha have to plan that trade. What's your plan when you take a trade on pound yen? If you're going to take a buy, let's say you're going to take a buy at this point on pound yen, where will your stop loss be? If it's going to be below the 30 minute time frame or the right over here, you know, why will it be over there? If it's going to be below the 15 minute time frame, why will it be there? How are you going to manage risk? What if it goes into drawdown? What are you going to do at that point? Like a lot of guys or girls, you know, when you take a trade, you don't plan risk. You just take a trade because fuck, you're just trying to take a fucking trade to go up. You know, what if it goes in drawdown? Have you planned for that? What's your plan if it goes in a drawdown? You know, are you just going to seize up at that point no you don't have to seize up at that point i used to do that all the time i used to take trades planning profits i never planned a drawdown you should always plan a drawdown would you rather trade a 10k prop account or 3k personal account personal account um, did you notice a downtrend in the daily weekly time frame in gold no i did not um, gold is just retracing here at 1762 I ran a marketing campaign yesterday. Website went down for an hour. Lost 30 orders. Lost 30 orders. 50k peak year unaccounted for. Any suggestions for better hosting? What? Ran a marketing campaign yesterday. Website went down for an hour. Lost 30 orders? Question mark. 50k peak year. What are you talking about? No idea what you're talking about. And are you talking about your own website? Oh, your own website. Just a random question about hosting services on a trading stream. How the hell am I supposed to know you're talking about? <laughs> I thought you're talking about Dominion Markets or Magic Keys. Like, damn, man. God damn. I don't know. Use AWS. There you go. <laughs> Use AWS. All right, I'll be right back. What's your opinion on natural gas? Keeps us warm. <laughs> That's my opinion. I'm from India. How can I withdraw from Dominion Markets? Crypto. Um, gold. Yeah, whatever. Gold. Gold is much better to wait for unemployment claims at this point. For example, if the range was 30 pips and your stop loss is 15 pips, then price goes to 10 pip profit. Will you close partials? I'll close partials. Um, gold sells below 151. GG sells below 151. How I see it. Yeah, that would make sense below 350 let's take a look at this chart here by Farhan Maimon Mr. Maimon has sent a chart right here executed by when 15 minute 30 minute one hour broke the high right here close partial when candle retrace and came back to range added position on the break of the high secure 25 pips yeah well done would you mind giving your opinion looking at currency strength meter as small added confidence, please? No, they don't work. Um, this is this is what I look at for shifts and giggles. I mean, it's showing dollar is down, pound is strong. So pound USD should go up at the same time we got unemployment claims. So we don't know how price is going to move. I'm using IC markets. Should I switch to Dominion markets? Um, do you need to? Do you need to switch to Dominion markets? Answer that question first. Do you really need to switch to Dominion markets? If you don't need to, then don't switch, man. Stay where you are. Trust me. Um, your JPY, bro, you need to send a chart. Send a chart and then we can take a look at your JPY. All right. 
let's take a look at what Miss Saga has in store for us. Yeah, one bedroom, one bathroom. These are just very, very, they just get smaller and smaller. This is the kitchen. This is the kitchen. This is the living room right there. Basically, this is the apartment. And this is the bedroom right here. This is the bedroom. This is where you enter and this is it. This is this is the apartment you get. That's it. One little balcony over there. This is the bedroom. That's it. This is all you get. This is what you get. For 523000 523000 plus taxes, closing costs, everything is going to cost you around close to 550000 560000 how big is it? Yeah, four four hundred dollars monthly fees too. This is like, yes, this this isn't even that that big at all. Annual property taxes two thousand. This is probably like six hundred, five hundred square foot, something like that. Unbelievable, man! Unbelievable. Jesus. Uh, in my month here, I learned to stay away from downtown as possible. <laughs> yeah. Stay from downtown. Uh, how much is your biggest drawdown? When was it and why? Um, biggest drawdown? I don't know. Like 22,000? Long time ago. Bro, see in Burj Khalifa? Yeah, that's very, very expensive. Burj Khalifa. Very, very expensive. Um, prices in Dubai are insane. Yes, that's true. It depends where you live, you know. Like this area here, Mississauga, this isn't even a posh area at all. This is a very mediocre living area. This isn't something this isn't something you would call posh or amazing. This is a, this isn't even that amazing of an area. Yeah. Pioneer is just consolidating over here. You're forgetting your 43, your 430. Yeah, that's true. Is Asian stock market volatile enough to day trade also? Um, I don't trade Asian session anymore. There's not enough volume, you know. You get, you get like surges of volume around um, after Asian open, but that's about it, you know. Um, I really hate technical analysis. Is there any way to trade Forex without looking at the chart? <laughs> Is there any way to trade Forex without looking at the charts? Yeah, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. Sign up to Daniel Savage Signals. <laughs> You're probably going to be not looking at the charts at all. <laughs> EA Robots. Yeah, you can you, you can get EA Robots. You know. Um, all right, let's take a look over here. Look at some real estate. We got 20 minutes left for the NY Open. Till then, nothing's happening at this point, right? So we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some hunting over here now. Yes, yeah, right here. All right, hunting time. Let's go over here. Beirut, Dubai. Yeah, I, I think this is a good website. Someone is saying, let's go, GJ. Yeah, GJ needs to break about 151, 600. Especially on the 15 minute time. Let's see if the next 15 minute candle, if the next 15 minute candle breaks about 151, 600, then I'd be open to take buys on pound yen to continue bullish first to fill this wick and then to continue on towards 151, 800. Got two minutes left for this candle to close. So, gonna let this candle close over here. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh, these are for rental properties. We don't want to rent. How do you, how do you get rid of, how do you get rid of rental? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Oh, this is a rental website. All right, we're coming close to 151, 600. Okay, that's much like oh 4.2 million. This is what we're talking about now. 4.2 million. 
4.2 million, 2 million around. Yeah, these are these are actually very small. These aren't that big at all. How much is this? Oh, 1,500 square foot. Not that bad. This is still not here. 151, 600. Didn't take this trade, but I would like to, you to read the chart and let me know what your thoughts are. Let's take a look at this chart here. This is, uh, did the rejection wick at the top put you off an entry? Yes. Would you have entered strong bullish close? Yes. Was waiting. Was waiting for the candle to close. That's it. Because this whole this whole area is a rejection area we talked about. Was just waiting for the candles to close. Um, so we still got about 30 seconds left over here. What the hell are you looking for? These are insane prices. <laughs> this is uh, at a... Uh, Burj Khalifa, that's what we're looking at. <laughs> Obviously, that's insane over there. <laughs> this is like straight downtown. 2,400 square foot. This is actually not bad. 2,400 square foot. All right. Candle about to close in 10 seconds. Let's take a look at this chart here. By Gallen Garner. This is no trade range. There's no... Um, nothing on here either. Yeah. All right. Yeah, actually, this is not bad. 1.25. Yeah, this is it's pretty big space there. Furnishing is pretty shit, to be honest. They got a dog in there, too. Probably spend some more money on furnishing. All right, so look what gold did over here, right? Gold broke above 1761. We made a high, came down. If we can create, if we can create some sort of a support, possibly continue up to retest this high, and then possibly continue up to 1766. That could happen. Um, <clears throat> someone is sending messages on Instagram and saying that's you. I never send messages to people. Yeah, so yeah, we're just waiting for the support to form over here. Hey, Raja, I'll be able to pay my phone bill and get a haircut from those profits. It's a beautiful feeling, man. You were right. I know, man. You get your haircut done from the profits you make from trading. It's just insane. Amazing feeling. When did you start making profits consistently? Yeah, like three years ago, three and a half years, four years ago. Something like that. Pretty clean spaces over here, to be honest. Look at this, 2.3 million. Maiden City. Not bad, not bad. Got a six-seater table over there, too. Nice vacation home here. How much is this? 2.3 million. USD to AD. Let's see. 2.3. Oh, 600,000. All right. GG is about to break about 151, 600. Getting ready over here for pound. Yeah. All right. One fifty one six hundred stops could be like seven eight pip stop over here. Let's see. Yeah, I really wanted to break above that area. So in three months of profitability, can I open my own brokerage? You can open your brokerage right now if you want. But do you have the clientele? The biggest problem a brokerage has is to have clients. That's the biggest problem for a brokerage, to get clients. Which is why brokerages have these things of we give you 50% deposit, we give you 100% deposit, all that stuff to attract clients. 
that's the biggest problem a brokerage has to have clients okay there we go we're breaking above this area all right open the buy right here uh, let's take a look on the one hour time frame one hour candle is also looking good looking at the 30 minute time frame 30 minute uh oh platform is stuck not good not good not good it's the second time this has happened to me so I got a long position right here stops I'm going to keep below the previous 15 minute candle Not good. Ha! Huh. Storage full. <laughs> All right. Should be, should be good. 30 minute candle, 30 minute candle is also pretty solid over here. Um, yeah, there we go, we're back. 30 minute candle is pretty solid. Got stop loss below the 30 minute candle. Candle is about to close in about um, 10 minutes. Uh, okay, stop right there. Yeah, got two positions at this point. Um, guys, what period is that? I can't see. This is pound yen. Pound yen buys on a 30 minute time frame. So, yeah. It's closing bullish. Nine minutes. If it stays, if it, if it closes like a weak bullish candle, I'm going to close everything. But if it closes like a strong bullish candle, I'm going to leave the trade open. So, till then, let's do some more shopping over here. Not bad four bathrooms three bedrooms this is actually not that bad where is it located this is located maiden street oh this is this is actually not that bad at all pretty cool very good space just gotta furnish it Gold melting right now. Oh, wow. Gold is melting at this point over here. Um, can you explain uh, on this occasion why you waited for the break of the previous wick because of the previous wick, I assume? Yes, I waited for the previous wick to... I um, actually waited for the 15-minute candle to break above this high. And that's when I entered a buy. When you say wait for the candle to close, what time frame are you looking for the candle to close on? Well, uh, at this time, the 1-hour candle is going to close. 30-minute candle is going to close. You know, so if the 15 minute candle closes bearish, I'm going to close out my entire positions because I want to close bullish. Right? I want this candle to close bullish. I want every time frame to be in my favor. If even one time frame is not in my favor, I'm going to close everything. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be a pretty good idea. If you accept the deposit bonus from the brokerage, what will happen if you lose that money? Nothing's going to happen. Can I, should I enter pound yen now? That's all up to you. If you want to enter pound yen now. How to get your indicators? I have no indicators. You can take my eyes. E-Y-E-S. That's my indicator, bitch. E-Y-E-S. E -Y take a look here uh, do you not close when price breaks a previous high then breaks its low anymore um, do you not close when price breaks the high breaks its own low anymore um, Lloyd it's basically how you're managing risk that's all what it is it's basically how you are personally managing risk I have a very low risk running at this point 
I'm okay with letting the candle close, you know. But um, if you want to close partials as it breaks its own low, see right here, you can do that. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close one of the positions right here. Yeah. And I'm going to let the rest run. But risk management, um, risk assessment is very, very personal to every person. Um, where will you consider to short gold? I am not shorting gold because we have uh, news coming up unemployment claims coming up very soon so not looking to short gold at all looks like I got a perfect entry for sells all the way up here but buys <laughs> Yeah, this candle is about to close in five minutes. If this 15 minute candle stays bearish, I'm going to close the whole thing. Yeah, I'm very interested in this area now. Where is it? Yeah, it's the area right here. Wow, 2,000 square feet. These are computer generated. Yeah, these are computer generated pictures. Probably these spaces aren't even built yet. Oh wow, this is not bad at all. Look at this. You got a view of the sea. You got two bedrooms, three bedrooms. This is all computer generated as well. When 250 lots, I have no idea. I keep withdrawing money from my account, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get there or not. What's your win rate? I'm using the same strategy, but seem to have a losing rate. Maybe I'm down something wrong. Um, I think you're not looking at your losses. You're not learning from those losses. That's the whole problem. Can you do more than 100 lots? More than 100 lots? Yes. Yes, exactly. All right, I'm going to close the whole thing right here, actually. Nah, don't like it. Probably I'm going to end the day right here in a $450 loss. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. See this? Win was $1,000 and then loss was $700 and $500. Total loss is $450. Look at for this month here so far. Up about 18,000. See this? Small losses, small losses, bigger wins. That's what the goal should be, right? Small losses, bigger wins. GG is just so tough here today. Pound Yen is moving, gold is moving down. It is what it is. But Pound Yen really anticipated to um, continue pushing bullish. Yeah, I closed out my uh, buys on Pound Yen. You just trade GG and gold? Yes. What's your average stop loss? Around 15 pips. Average 15, 10, 10, 15 pips. Um, for sales, I look at below 150, 150 for sales. Will you give your trade a second chance? Yeah, I mean, if with the news we break up, yeah, for sure. But other than that, I'm done for the day. My stream is going to end in about 30 minutes. Yeah, with the news, the stream is going to end. All right, let's do some more. Let's do some more hunting over here. Apartment hunting. Oh, damn, this is not bad at all. Look at this. It's around six hundred thousand dollars. Really big space. Not bad. Furnish it, and then we're good to go. Rooftop infinity school pool overlooking Dubai skyline. Oh, seven minute drive to Dubai downtown. Fifteen minute drive to the airport. 80% bank financing available. Who needs financing when you can pay cash? <laughs> oh yeah, Poundian came straight down. What an amazing, 
amazing, amazing decision to close right there. Came right back down. Would you move to Miami next to your friends? No. I got Miami in Asia, man. That place is the Miami of Asia. Qatar is also pretty good. You know, I mean, this part of the world is amazing. Like people, if you haven't left North America and if you have the means to do so, just come over to this part of the world. It's so different. Your whole perspective is going to change. I think I think guys who've been living in North America for a long while and haven't really explored this part of the world, you've been living in a bubble at this point. Bubble controlled by the government. You know, it's just so different. So different. Um, if you've seen money in the US, you've seen money in Canada, man, you haven't seen money here in Dubai, Qatar, you know, Saudi Arabia. It's a different kind of money. Different. Like people here, they don't flex with, they flex with cars. They don't flex with watches or shoes or clothes. They flex with cars. We went to the Dubai mall. I went to the way mall i did the valet valet was like uh they charged me like 200 dirhams it was like 50 bucks and um when we were leaving we saw one rolls royce cullinan souped up fully what's what's the word over there um uh what's the word where you wrap yeah wrapped when in in uh what's that word wrapped it was wrapped there were like three of them and both of them yeah matt mat wrapped one was like black mat green mat and there was a silver mat those are wrapped uh two three there were lamborghinis right there no problem rolls royces were there bentley's was there g wagons were there just people just guys like driving around no issues at all you know this is all normal dubai plates it's just insane you know and there was my rented g wagon over there <laughs> Um, they protect all dictatorship, like, yeah, exactly. Um, oh, wow, gold just reversed. Damn. Yeah, you got to wait for um, the news over here now. Yeah, I'm going to wait for news over here now. You just pay 5% there, no income tax. That's, that's correct, no income tax. What's better, G-Wagon or Bentley? G-Wagon, way better than the Bentley. Um, I noticed that in the Bentley Bentega, we had that for about four days. There was no blind spot. You look to back to see if there's any car, you you, you can't. You got to really move and look. You know, with the G-Wagon, you look back, you can see everything. Plus the V8, you know, V8 sound much, much better. We getting any guests on tomorrow? Yes. Will the Wix on Doji 4 can time frame be filled when the market is volatile? It depends on what chart you're looking at. So pound yen is moving down. Some people are talking about pound yen sells. Wait for price to break below 151.350. You will have a much easier trade in this area right here. 151.350. 151.350. One Let me tell you this. Um, someone told me this. Actually, a few people told me this, that if you have, in the UAE, if you have the Nissan Patrol, let me show you guys the Nissan Patrol. Nissan Patrol or the G-Wagon, you're considered like the king on the road. Yeah, Nissan Patrol. This car right here. Or this car right here. You're considered like the king of the road. G-Wagon or the Nissan Patrol. It's actually not that bad, Nissan Patrol. What about Urus? Ah, uh, Urus is like, okay. I don't, I, I don't really like the Urus. It's a, it's a, uh, it's an SUV, you know, it's a four-seater SUV. Uh, that's a soccer mom car. No, it's not a soccer mom car, man. What are you talking about? This is not a soccer mom car. This is like gangster's car over here. Nissan Patrol. <laughs> Soccer mom. <laughs> Imagine if the rest of the world has 79 series land cruisers. Oh, crazy. Which book about candlesticks do you suggest to study? Um, Naked Forex is pretty good. Um, let's see here. 
in Dubai they show off with number plates. Yes, that's true. That's true. The Emirati people, they got money, you know, and I've seen them only wear sandals and not even like regular sandals. They're like expensive sandals, brand I haven't even heard of. I've always seen them wear sandals, no shoes, just sandals, you know, sandals with their white dress and just the I see, I, I saw a huge lineups at the Hermes store, you know, people walking out with Hermes bags, the kind of lineups you see at McDonald's, not even lying, it's like people lined up to get McChicken, people lined up at Hermes store to buy Hermes, you know, I was like, I was like what, what's going on over here? Hey, Roger. Hey, hey, bro. How often do you use the five minute on a goal, if at all? Not at all. Not at all? Not at all. Sometimes very rare like for instance let's say we're looking at the five minute now right if we had clean candle hair to the left hand side only and only then i would look at five minute to break below this area gotcha. yeah so it's a very very specific instances i see a lot of people say even in the group say they have entered off the five minute but i know you usually use say 30 minute hour support and resistance to yeah use your zone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I've been testing gold, and I've seen like for me myself, I've I've caught myself um, catching gold losses on five minute more than wins, even though there were small losses, but still a red is a red, right? Right. And so like I've mainly just focused on the fifteen minute close and the thirty minute close. I I may use a stop loss based on the five minute, but entry wise, I'll wait for a fifteen minute or thirty minute like you know a close. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. You need to have Vax to fly to Dubai or just PCR test? Uh, you just need a negative PCR test. But if you can get a contact to get a, get yourself vaxxed, then I highly suggest you do that. If you're against the Vax. I know we have some... Anyway, that's a long subject. Uh, do you have leaderboard account in Dominion Markets? Yes. We got trapped by the GJ rain. Yeah, GJ is just mad at this point right here. Um, okay. So mostly support resistance on the 4R, 1R charts. Yes, that's true. Uh, need to get myself a hookup. Uh, you just need to look at the right right places in life. You're always gonna get what you are looking for. You're looking for drugs. You're gonna find drugs. You're looking for doctors who can give you vax certificates. You're gonna find those as well. It's gonna come at a cost, though. Raja, honestly, you're exaggerating about how rich people in Dubai are. You went to expensive hotels, so you saw the select few. Absolutely, obviously, I was in the. I was in the, you know, the posh areas, so I saw posh people. I drove my Bentley to old Dubai, and there was not even one posh person over there. I was That was the only Bentley I saw over there, the one I was driving, you know. The rest were just Corollas, because there was old Dubai. Depends on where you go. So I went to people, I went to places where there were rich people, then you go to places where they are, like, you know, non-rich people. Like the middle class. Um, Dubai is an amazing place. I went back in the 90s. <laughs> 90s, bro. A lot of fucking things have changed since the 90s. The last time I was there was like 20 years ago myself. <laughs> yeah. I remember I was there like 20 years ago and uh, went to a supermarket and I stole a Ferrero Rocher. You know, those small chocolate chocolates? I stole one of those. I stole one of those and my relatives, holy shit, they made a huge deal out of it. They're like, oh, if you get caught, they're going to cut off your hand. And I was like, what, 11 years old at that point? I stole a little Ferrero Rocher chocolate from there. And wow, was I scared after that. Um you think we should had to you think we should had to had to wait for the one hour candle before entering as an impulse yeah i would say a break above 151 600 would be better there's a lot of rejections here now right so above this 
this would be would be much better what can I do to fix the error 4112 on magic keys? Um, go to the forums on magic keys or email magic keys. I don't, I forget what the 411 error is. Now you have to pay for that chocolate. Yeah. I try to pay for that chocolate now. Fred or Roche is pretty good, man. I remember five years ago, I gained a lot of weight by eating a lot of Fred or Roche's used to eat a whole box like you know that 12 piece box you get 12 piece, piece box every day so nice look at gold yes gold is preparing gold is getting ready for the unemployment claims in about 20 minutes i need dubai shorty should i pull up there's you're not gonna no it's not gonna happen Um, have you prayed for success or it just happened? Um, I didn't pray for success. I prayed for the well-being of myself and my family and my friends. That's what I pray for every day. I pray for the well-being of the people around me. That's it. I don't pray for success. Success is earned. You earn success. But what a fucking dumb question, man. You can't just sit and, oh, please, please make me successful. Please make me successful. I don't want to work hard, but make me successful. No, man, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Trust me, I prayed a lot. When I was trading, I prayed a lot. Oh, God, please, take me out of this drawdown. I will never over leverage again. And when I'd look back, I'd be in a much bigger drawdown, you know? God would say, shut the fuck up. What do you mean, take me out of the drawdown? I would be in a much bigger drawdown. Those things don't happen. You know, market doesn't know about religion. Market doesn't know about who your God is, what your religion is, what your race is. No, market is going to move the way it's going to move. You know, what, what you can pray for is patience. You know, please give me patience and discipline. That's it. Patience and it's the same thing as when you go work out, you know, of course, you're going to pray to have a good body. But if you're not going to eat right, you're not going to exercise on time every day, you're never going to get that good body. If you're going to eat right, you're going to start to see a change in your weight. When you start to see a change in your weight, you exercise right, you're going to start to see muscle development. If you don't do those two things, it's, it's basically not going to happen. Um. Trust me, I've 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 prayed a lot, you know. Hey, but it, prayer never worked for success. Um, what was wrong with the GJ loss? There was nothing wrong with the GJ loss. It just didn't finish quite bullish the way we expected. Do you think NFP will be good tomorrow? Yes, um, they're anticipating it to be good tomorrow. So, you know, I mean, they're anticipating it to be, what's the number over here? 490,000. ADP was pretty good. If you pray for success, you should invest in some Nigerian prince who just DM you on Facebook. Yeah, that's, you have a better chance at getting millions from a Nigerian prince than from the market. Um, it's Farid from the Forex Expo. Are you planning to come to Dubai for a living, bro? Oh, hey, Farid. Nice to meet you. Farid from Iran. Yes. Um, planning on it. Let's see how well that goes. The smart money manipulate market. Um, I don't know those concepts. Smart money. Uh, based on September 30th, gold went to the moon. Let's see from 1733. Yeah, let's see what happens. We got around 17 minutes left for the news, and then I'm going to be off. What are so questions you ask yourself before taking a trade? Um, before I take a trade, let's say, let's say, for example, I'm eyeing pound sells below 151, 350. So the one thing I'm going to be focusing on is that I'm going to be asking myself is that, okay, is the candle closing below 151, 350? If a candle closes below 151, 350, then I can say that, okay, can the next candle break the low to continue down? If it does break the low, I'm going to enter in that cell. You know, will you use sell stop or buy stop? Um, I'll see. Probably going to use uh, sell stops. Probably going to use sell stops. My $200 account is 
now one nineteen dollars in four months is that okay yeah i think that's okay you haven't lost the whole account so that's good are you invested in crypto you have a lot of xrp but um the unemployment claims they don't usually move a lot i mean they're expected to move so um we'll see we shall see what happens Yeah, pound yen is just stuck here today. Just very, very stuck. Roger, what I think gonna happen with pound yen? See, there, there, there's gonna be a bullish candle form with the next candle, and then it's gonna go up. Hmm. Because the structure is not broken on thirty minutes, is yeah, still bullish on the thirty minutes technically. Yeah, it's just this, it keeps rejecting this area right here. Yeah. This needs to break away and then continue moving up. At least do something. Uh, what's your favorite car? My favorite car is the one I have right now. It's an amazing, amazing car. Alright. Got 15 minutes left. Hey, who wants to bet? Uh, I'm gonna bet 500 bucks. I'm gonna bet 500 bucks on Elaine that if he can get his Rubik's Cube done within, uh, he's already done. <laughs> I was gonna get five, bet 500 bucks with somebody. <laughs> it's already done. Nice, man. <laughs> I thought it was gonna take you a while, you know, and then I was waiting for someone to go against me. Know how those guys do it, man. I never was able to put all the colors together. Yeah. I think it's a lot of practice, is it? A lot of practice. Maybe Rubik's Cube mentorship coming up soon. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, please rent a Lamborghini Urus and share stories with us. No, I'm going to rent the new uh, uh, Land Cruiser. 2021, 2021 Land Cruiser. Oh, it looks like Yusuf is on the phone with the market makers. He got the corded phone and the pen and everything. Man, he's he's giving us some orders over there. Yeah, look at that. Damn. Man's giving orders over there to the market makers. Hey guys, look. They're gonna put sell stops right here. They're gonna put buy stops right here. Twelve minutes left. Pound yen is doing nothing over here. I think we could have waited for the fifteen minute candle to close minor resistance. Yeah. Yeah, there was nothing happening at that point. Got about twelve minutes left to see where price is gonna move on gold. We'll see. Yeah, check this out right here. 2021 Land Cruiser. Sick. So sick. Look at this. Wow. So magnificent. Man, I didn't know they still make those. Yeah, man, they still make these. I haven't seen those in years. 2021 Land Cruiser. Oh yeah, this is this is the new shape. It's uh, it's kind of like the Cadillac lights. I think they gave it to the front. Where is it? Not the Tundra. 
what the hell? Yeah, the guy at the Lexus uh, told me that they're gonna discontinue the Land Cruiser, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, because they it, it makes no sense to have a Land Cruiser and the LX from the Lexus, something like that. Uh, either the Lexus or the Land Cruiser, one of them is gonna go. It's Where? Gonna... In the US? Yeah, I was there a month ago um, and was talking about that, that I, I don't see many Land Cruisers here. The guy was telling me, oh, I think yeah. uh, we're going to just continue one of those. It's either the Land Cruiser or the LX, but they're going to get rid of one of them because it's pretty much the same vehicle. And the Land Cruiser is way like it's like as expensive as the Lexus. So it's, you know, mm. yeah, they're pretty big in Asia, Land Cruisers. They're pretty big in Asia here. I haven't seen many of them in the US or Canada, to be honest, either. Hello, guys. Honestly, I'm not sure about that information about the Land Cruiser because they wouldn't have released the new car if they're going to discontinue it. Maybe in USA. I don't know. He was very sure yeah, about maybe. it. Maybe. That makes sense if uh, there are not many consumers in the US. But in Asia, there are a lot. There's another Land Cruiser next to me right now. <laughs> yeah, in Asia, have, have, having cars is more like class. Like, you got a Land Cruiser, you're like the old man. This guy's a big baller over here. The bigger the car, the bigger the baller. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> like, you see some people... Like in Qatar, you'll see some people having Bentleys and Rolls Royce and they would be driving their Lexus LX. Mm. But the Lexus is the king, you know, so I like the Lexus. I have the Lexus <laughs> and we're, we're hoping that the, the newer version of the Lexus will be out in 2022 or so, 2023. Yeah, I think car to be honest. Yeah, in the Caribbean too. If you have a Land Cruiser, you're like the king. Also, keep in mind, like, Lexus have more lifespan than most cars. So if you get the Cruiser Lexus, it's going to last for you with you at least 10 years. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, Lexus, Honda, it's Toyota. The only thing is Lexus is so expensive in Pakistan. Let me share the price here with you. Well, Roger, you said you're coming to Dubai. You said you're coming to Dubai, so maybe get the Land Cruiser here. Yeah, look at this. It's going to cost you around $150,000. So anyway. This is the 570 2016, right? 2016. This is 46 million, which is USD to PKR. 46 mm -hmm. million is, yeah, $269,000. <laughs> you know, with, that money, with that amount of money in, in Dubai, you can buy an apartment plus this car. Exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> god damn, man. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Shit. Cool. Gold is dropping. Yeah. I'm driving, so I can't even focus on the chart. Oh, nice, nice. Well, not nice. Yeah, it's not nice. <laughs> All right, we got seven minutes left here for unemployment claims. Yeah, for two hundred sixty-nine thousand, you can you can buy a Lamborghini in the U.S. Um, um, here in the UAE, you're also gonna buy Lamborghini as well. I got mine at one hundred and fifty-six thousand, and that's just about two years ago. Oh, nice. So. My friend told me uh, three years ago, for he went to see the Euros. I think it was around under fifty thousand dollars. Now it's around three hundred thousand dollars in the UAE. Wow! Look at this GJ over here. I think it's it, this GJ candle the one hour. Uh, now with this flip, might just go all the way to the top of that other week and even more. Yeah, they're, they're, this candle turned bullish instead of the next candle. So GJ is. Grab liquidity. If you if yeah. you if you look left, 
uh, on the four hour and then even the one hour, but especially the one hour, you can notice that this is a zone where it grabs liquidity. So there's more probabilities of just continuing now. Um, as you just grab, you see many wicks on the one hour to the left all the way, even as a resistance, as a support. Hmm. There's going to be a lot of volume coming in soon in about six minutes. Yeah, and that. Mm -hmm. She's she on. Five minutes left. Oh, by the way, for people who don't know, these dresses we wear, we have pockets. We have pockets right here. And we have a pocket right over here. They're called dress. Yeah, man. Look. But you got pants on with it. Yeah, of course. Got pants on. <laughs> they don't come. They don't come fitted. No, they're they're loose. You know, for ventilation, really easy. Okay. The pockets right here. Your pockets right over here. Usually you have a pocket right over here too, but this is a uh, by a designer, so they didn't put pocket on the Don't rest over here. Okay. okay, please mute yourself, man. <laughs> They're called shalwar kameez. Shalwar kameez. All right, got four minutes left over here now. Take a look at pound yen. Pound yen is still consolidating. Can you do splits with this? Yes, very flexible. Where I'm at now, there are like McDonald's signs every one meter. The what? They want you to go and eat McDonald's. McDonald's signs? On the road, Sheikh Zayed Road. Yeah, Sheikh Zayed Road. Plenty of them. Like they are tempting me to go eat McDonald's today since it's Thursday, weekend. Cheek meal today. No. Oh. Get a McDonald's and chicken. <laughs> All right, we got three minutes left over here. Are we are, are we gonna continuation down to seventeen fifty eight or what's gonna happen here? Raja, I have a question. Yes. When you were in Dubai, you were taking videos of you at the gym. So yes. when you travel, would you train hard or just lightly? Hard. Train and hard. Then when you come to Dubai next time in December, we might go for a training session then. That would be amazing. Awesome. We will do that. 
Certainly. After the boot camp. Or After before, the in the morning. Before, in the morning? Yeah. Perfect. Just however you like it. I'll, I'm taking anyone leave at that time. Oh. Okay, perfect. Then you'll have to keep up with me then. Well, I'm going to the physiotherapy right now to fix my shoulders. <laughs> I, I injured my shoulder one month ago. So by right. the time on December... <laughs> no, don't worry, don't worry. I, I can let heavy. Okay, 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 okay. I, w I was doing a four-plate shoulder press and I cracked something. Right, one man. minute for news. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, we got one minute. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm going to do anything with this over here. Maybe a buy stop. Sit. Nothing. We got a support down at 1758. That's it. If we break this with news and go down, then it is what it is. 326,000. Good numbers. Better than last time, though. Nothing which you can say extraordinary good. Yeah, let's take this. Take a look at this right here. Okay. Yeah, not extraordinary good. That's just whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna head off, everybody. Take care. Have fun. We'll see you tomorrow for NFP. I think it's gonna be an amazing day tomorrow for NFP. Take it easy, Roger. Be safe. Take it easy, everybody. Okay. See you. See you. Take care. See you at the I workout. Enjoy. Yes. Thank you, Roger. Thank you. Thank you. Adios. <laughs> Who's that cat? <laughs> Wild cat. Wild pussy on the Bye. way.